Okay, so this is an example of how you would set up a cross, a penniscore cross for hemophilia. So again, once they're asking for this sort of genotypes and phenotypes, the first thing that you are going to want to do is to draw a punnent grid. So if I don't see a punnent grid in your test, I am going to, I don't know, minus 10 on your, point, or your test automatically. You have to draw the punnent grid or this is just gonna go south really fast. So, okay, remember that hemophilia is an X-linked recessive disease. So we're gonna start with our X's and Y's. We're gonna put dad here. And however you want to keep track of your alleles, putting them in different colors, underlining them, um, I don't know, uh, do whatever is necessary to keep your alleles straight. So, okay, first we're going to start with a female hemophiliac. So because this is a recessive uh, disease, if the female has um, hemophilia, she's going to have to have the two lowercase alleles. There's no other way that she can be a hemophiliac. And then similarly, for a male to not have hemophilia, he has to have the uppercase H. I can't draw those for some reason. So once you have your punnet square set up, you can go ahead and start filling it in. So let's you know, put our girls here, let's put our boys. And let's start now um, tracking our allele. So, oops, sorry, so from the top, this is going to be XH from dad, X lowercase h from mom. And then this one will repeat X uppercase h from dad, X lowercase h from mom. So for the boys, uh, we get our Y chromosome from dad. And then they only have one option from mom. So this is going to have X lowercase h, X lowercase h. So for our ending, Genotypes, phenotypes. Let's go ahead and write these guys out. X, Y, X, Y. So we have X, H, lowercase H. So for the girls, 100% are carriers. They don't have hemophilia because they don't have two lowercase H's like mom does, So that, but they do have these mixed alleles, so they are carriers. For the boys, both boys have lowercase, so both of them are going to have 100% hemophilia. So those are your ending phenotypes, and because these are matching, it's going to be 100% XH lowercase h, and then 100% X lowercase h, y for the boys. So that's what they're asking for when they are wanting those ending genotypes and phenotypes. Be sure to write all that out.